Horses can become lame for a variety of reasons. Some of the common causes include a nail that is driven too close to the sensitive part of the hoof, overexertion during exercise or competition, trauma, and poor conformation. This horse is lame on the right front. If you watch his head as the right front foot hits the ground, the head is raised to take the weight off of that foot. And as the left foot hits the ground, the head is dropped. Once you've determined what leg the horse is lameness and you've done your flexion test, the next thing to do is try and figure out where the lameness is coming from. 90% of lamenesses in the front leg involve the carpus or below or distally, the carpus or the knee. In the hind leg, they involve the tarsus or hock and distally. The first place to start and to rule out is the horse's hoof. A lot of problems begin in the horse's hoof due to its confining anatomy. You can use a set of hoof testers to try and diagnose sensitive areas within the hoof. You take the hoof testers and do it in an in a organized manner. Start on one side and work your way all the way around to try and test each part of the hoof. And just put gentle pressure Some horses, especially young horses, are very sensitive to the hoof testers. So to indicate true pain, the response should be repetitive. Each time you do it, the horse should jerk away. You can also apply pressure to the heel area by going crossways from the frog to the inside wall and vice versa. And then take the heels and squeeze them together. Again, heel pain is a common cause of lameness. It's best diagnosed um, or can be easily diagnosed with the hoof testers.